And for many people, to earn more means to work more. True or not? Yeah, you work harder or you get a second job. On the contrary, you need to work less so that you can free up time to explore into possibilities that could make you more money than your current job. Make sense? It makes sense, okay? Let me give you an example. If you knew for a fact that when Sentosa Cove was launched at $4 million and today would be worth $20 million, would you have gone in? If you know for sure. Because who, some of you say, I don't have $4 million. You don't need $4 million. At that time, you need, you need only 10%. So that's $400,000. If you put $400,000 within a few years, it becomes $20 million. You pay off four million, you still have 16 million profits in profits, cash. You take 16 million, you put it into a bonds return of 5%, very conservative, 5%. You get about $800,000 in interest a year, which is about 65,000 disposable income a month. Sounds good? Without working? Eh? Very good, very good. And we don't have to work for the rest of our lives and our children's lives and our children, children don't have to work because the capital is not touched, correct? So why didn't we do it? Because we didn't know. Yeah, some of those guys who bought knew. And how come we didn't know? How come we didn't know what how can say this gang how? This opportunity, how come we didn't know? Correct. And I can tell you why you didn't know, because you were busy working. Is there such thing as a shortcut to success? Those of you who still don't think so, let me give you an example. If I had five doors in front of you, and I said, behind one of those doors is a big pot of gold, go get it. So you rush forward because it's gold, and you go to the first door and you open it, it's not there. And then you go to the second door and you open it and you say, it's not there. And then you go to the third door and you say, it's still not there. I know, he probably put it behind the fifth door. So you go behind the fifth door, it's not there. And then, are you for real? Yeah. It's at the, behind the fourth door. And you know what you just did? You did four unnecessary movements. But if I told you from the onset that the goal is behind door number four, do you go straight there? That's it. That's just it. If you have people pointing to you where the money is, where, how to get to the shortest, what is the shortest way to whatever you're looking for? Isn't that a shortcut? Too many of us just simply want to do it on our own. On the day of graduation, the principal sent us all a note. Dear student, congratulations on your... Um, graduation for mechanical department, the starting salary is 1200 They have a good heart. Nah. They, they don't want us to be cheated, so they tell us 1200 And we all believe that, and we all went out, and all the employers would ask us, how much are you looking for? We said $1,200, and that's what they gave us, and we were happy. Six months later, we had a class reunion and we compared, how much you paid? 1,002, how much you paid? 1,002, how much you paid? 1,025, how much you paid? And that's the name of the game until we meet one guy called Vincent. And we asked, Vincent, how much are you paid? He said, 3,005. What? We all stopped, became silent and looked at him and, and we asked him, how did you get 3,005? And he, he answered us, in a way that was so simple, yet so profound. He said, in order to get a $3,500 job, you need to look for one 